have you ever wondered as a business owner or even a customer why some ads seem to just get you to click and take action after you watch them after you see them on your feed while others simply repel you and you can just get you can scroll past them fast enough in this video we are really going to peel back the layer and share with you what actually makes a successful facebook and instagram ad so that you can go ahead and learn some of the strategies when it comes to actually supercharging your ads and having a better pulling power once you launch those if it's the first time you come across my content i am julie de matthew i'm the founder of program consulting we are a code partner a marketing agency that helps the client scale beyond 70 gear using social media ads on facebook youtube and instagram and in this video we're really going to have a focus on Facebook and Instagram ad and how do you make them better? How do you make them more compelling so that they convert better and give you better ROI, a better return for your money? Because ultimately that's the name of the game. We spend in marketing because we do want to impact more people. We do want to have our offer, our message shared and seen by the right target audience. But we also want to make more money. We want to build generational wealth. We want to have a legacy business that you know provides us and our family. So that's what we're gonna look at. How do you create ads that make that happen consistently on autopilot? Now the first thing that you want to have man is understanding what's the purpose of an ad an ad is not designed to sell your offer right an ad is designed to create curiosity and it's designed to get someone attention in the in with the ultimate goal of getting them to take an action right so i see some videos on a thinking that they're going to sell on the ad. That's not what the purpose of the ad is for. And typically those are typically the ads that just simply flop, especially if they're shown to the wrong audience at the right, on, at the wrong time. So the first thing that you want to have in mind is thinking about connection. How can I create a connection with my customers? So the first step when it comes to actually creating ads that convert is thinking about getting to the mind of your customer, right? I think it's Dan Kennedy that said that if you're able to explain something, if you're, if you're able, I think it's Dan Kennedy that said that if you're able to explain to someone what they're going through in a better way that they can that they can do it themselves, they automatically assume that you have the solution for whatever problem that they're currently facing. So what you want to create is you want to create a connection, right? <clears throat> You want to add you want your you want your ad to create a connection with the customer with your customer. You want them to feel seen, you want them to feel heard, you want them to feel understood because that's what's gonna get their attention. And one of the best ways to connect with your potential prospect is by actually appealing to the emotion, right? Evoking emotion with your ad. It might be a picture, it might be what you say in your in the first in the hook of your video, it might be the first line of text in your ad. How do you how can you appeal to the emotion and the second one which you can actually get inside the mind by leveraging connection is by using storytelling now storytelling is really your capacity to share a story where they can see themselves part of it's, it's your ability to share a story that, that's gonna make them relate and it's gonna make them care right it might be your story it might be a story of one of your clients it might be a story that they might be living at the moment but being able to really share that story by adding emotion is what's gonna create yeah, is what's gonna create connection i see so many people are making the mistake of thinking that what's gonna get their ads to perform better is by showcasing how long they've been in business or how many hours they've received or in how many magazines they would in feature that could even further from the truth your target audience they don't really really care what matter for them is really understanding that you understand them and that you care about them that what you have going on is different from what they've experienced in the past and that you actually are not just looking for a sale you're actually looking to make their life better in some way shape or form and you make that happen by having a connection now that you've seen how to connect with your customer at an emotional level through stories and through by sharing some secret and by sharing more about yourself let's now see how you can even supercharge your ads and make them even more irresistible and you make it happen by actually nailing down your messaging right so yeah, it's all about your messaging once you tell them out about them so you, now you might tell them about what you have to offer what makes your offer unique what what's your usb why did you get started what makes what you have going on different what they've experienced in the past this is where you actually want to leverage psychological principles such as you know social proof right showing them how many people you've worked with that have achieved whatever result showing them how many people you've worked with that have achieved whatever result you are promising on your on your ads also having scarcity why not you know people don't move until there's a certain level of urgency or they feel like they can they and always i think any any offer especially when you're selling a high ticket there's always a level of scarcity because you can work with a thousand people right if you had a thousand new customers tomorrow you'd probably be overwhelmed so there's always a scarcity that's included in your offer the thing is most business owners don't know how to leverage scarcity they feel like having a scarcity or 
highlighting the scarcity is going is like a sales is tactic sales tactic that's not true or that's not aligned with what they do but the truth is you this always say scarcity whenever you have an offer going on because you cannot work with the entire world so you want to tell them okay here's what here's here's my limit i can only take five more clients or i can only take like 10 more clients for my next quarter after that I'm, we are going to be sold out or we are having a challenge i don't know when we're gonna have the next challenge that's not false marketing tactic it's just telling them what's actually going on right and give them an option to actually you know step up the game and actually move forward with you or not do it but the choice is them ultimately and when it comes to your messaging one of the things that you actually want to highlight is actually the benefits right with what do they stand to gain which transformation are they going to achieve when working with you one of the biggest mistakes which i see happening here by this owner is actually thinking that listing the future is going to is kind of the benefit which is not the case sometimes i just hold few sales pages and you know and, and i'm thinking where is the benefit here because they've just had this just a list of what's included in the, in the program and sometimes i think that because there's more included in the, in the program it allows them to charge you more if someone's going to pay more because they're going to they're doing more for the person that couldn't be further away that couldn't be further from the truth because people don't buy what is inside your program that's what you sell that has value to you but they have no clue of knowing how much valuable what you have in that program is what they care about is a result you know and so your ability to actually have a clear transformation a clear result that should guide them through and that should get them to achieve is what's going to make your offer valuable and your ability to actually your ability to actually articulate that transformation in a way that makes sense for them is what's going to lead to the best results so you know really thinking about okay what are some of the benefits what's the vision which i have for my prospects that i can walk them through and, and that i can get them to if they go through this program and why is it valuable for them how is their life going to be different and really nailing down you know vitalizing that in your messaging is going to be key to convert better with your copy and when i say when i say copy i don't I, i'm not only mentioning copy on on the ads i also think about your email copy right your sales page copy your vsl copy all of those things are an integral part of your conversion process and your sales process to take a stranger from you know discovering you from ads and going ahead and buying from you right so all of those play a massive role in the conversion process so once you've gotten inside your customer mind and you've crafted your messages in a really compelling way the third part really consists in bringing your ethical age at the forefront of your marketing right so i call it the ethical age and the reason why i call it the ethical age because we live in an age where people have been burned out so much by you know in, no matter which industry, no matter which vertical you operate in, people are just sick and tired of those empty promises that people are over promising and under delivering on the back end. So that's really what you want to lead with ethical age, where you want to have full transparency in terms of what your shortcomings are, right? What are some of the things that you might not be doing or that you still struggle with when it comes to you even scaling your business yourself or even getting whatever results you're that are hiring you for like if you have one for instance a keto coach and saying okay if you have one instance a fitness coach and saying okay even though i've been fit for the past 10 years i still struggle with maybe you know sweet cravings and i still find myself you know maybe skipping a workout here and there or even indulging into some sweet at night that makes you more human right you don't have to be perfect or even like sharing the shortcoming of your client you know where have you felt in the past or what are some of the things that you've tried that didn't quite work and that you are still working on improving they're not buying your perfection they're buying your authenticity and if you can lead with authentic ad and say okay i've been struggling with this as well even though i've, I've had success in this area this one area where, where i'm still struggling with is going to make you look more human and it's going to build trust and it's going to be more credibility even faster i think there was a time and place where people were thinking okay credibility came from having everything perfect and having a Oh, a perfectly polish brand like the instagram feed perfect type of brand but that's not no longer the case like coming and coming across sharing your flowers is going to make you feel more way more relatable and create that connection even way faster with your target market so transparency is a big one right the second one is value right it's really good will you want to build a good will with your marketplace no matter what and that's really that's the reason why when we work with client we always start by leveraging valuable content we never start with our response marketing even though we are good we are great at doing that we always want to give before we ask right and if you have your marketing if you have the same principle when it comes to your marketing you are going to be able to make more money longer and just have a and just build a powerful point of mind because people are going to trust you more if you first educate them on whatever they're going through before you try to pitch them right it's like you first want to give before you ask like gary v said jab 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 right hook so you want to first give 
and you can also give with ads people sometimes think okay i'm going to run ads just get clients right off the bat and i don't want to spend time you know giving any value that's not the case you can literally run ads to give value to build your audience build your warm list your invisible list and then the target those people have based on how long they've watched your video with your conversion campaign guess what's going to happen because they've watched your content and they've seen they've gotten so much value from you they are going to be more likely to buy because they know you already they trust you they know how credible you are so the next logical step is for them to actually move the trigger and go ahead and purchase from you so leading with value educating them showing them what they where they are missing out you know what they're missing out on their current strategy what are some what are some of the loophole and really giving them you know something to to succeed giving them some some first win before you ask them to invest and work with you is going to be a game changer when it comes to having your ads convert even better because the ultimate goal is not just a click the goal is to create a connection that really lasts the goal is to attract align clients that are going to work with you for years or even for months that are going to become raving fans and that are going to become the biggest cheerleader for your brand and for your business that's really the goal by applying this principle into your marketing strategy you're not only going to see better ad performance you know better roi but you're also going to be able to have the biggest roi which is building a loyal a loyal brand which is building a brand that test that stand the test of the time before we wrap up here what i really want you to take away from this video is that when it comes to actually having your ads becoming receivable and increasing in pulling power you want to start by understanding your customer what the, what keeps them awake at night you know what are some of the desire what are some of the deep uh things that they actually want to run away from you know link that to your current story to your story what made you start your business why is it important for, for you to serve them and connect what where the current what the, the current situation with where you once were and what your vision for them is right once the case you need to think about your us what makes you unique what makes you uniquely qualified to get them from wherever they are to wherever you see for them where they could potentially be and live with social people that you've worked with in the past you know your track record add urgency add scarcity because that's ethical right and then think about having an age with goodwill you know build trust build credibility and also lead with transparency and not really to get them to see you as an expert and get them to want to work with you long term that's it for this video i hope you learned something for this episode i hope you learned something let me know in the comment section if you're watching on youtube make sure to like subscribe share this is something that might, that might help get to the next level in the business maybe a marketer that's running out and that uh, not that's not seeing as good of a result that, that they could potentially be if you're watching on spotify or if you're listening to this make sure to subscribe to well, to the platform you know leave us a review it always means the world to us and make sure if you're looking for someone to help you get your ads to the next level feel free to reach out to me at jolie dematio on linkedin or instagram that's where i'm the most active or simply go to our website and schedule a free call with someone in the team to really help you get to your business to the next level using social media ads in an ethical way in a way that actually works long term for your business and your brand i will see you on the next one until then take off yourself